Thanks for joining us for another tutorial on your Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Now, if you're in education, you're really going to enjoy this particular tutorial because we are going to talk about No. And this application is based around No.com. So let's go ahead and jump right in. No is very similar to an app store, but it only covers educational textbooks. So let's take a look at the interface. First off, we have different bookshelves. Now these bookshelves are actually courses and we're going to go in and show you how to make some courses right now. Uh, first off, we're going to hit this plus sign in the lower right hand corner. We need to add a new term. Well, if you select this button first, the fall button, I'm going to add a summer term and let's say my school runs on a quarter system and 2013 is the correct term for me. So you can notice you have uh, quite a bit of flexibility here when adding a new term. And then hit add. What you notice here is now that, now that I have this new term, I have just a single bookshelf and no courses. If I ever want to go back to the sample term that was provided for me in No, I can just simply click on sample term and I'm back over there. Let's go ahead and uh, complete our new courseware here. Now, if we've got a new course in this term, let's say uh, this particular term, I'm going to take um, uh, a math class. So let's try uh, math 205, because I like calculus. There we go. And then you hit add. And now you'll notice that I have my new course here. So we've just added our new course, and now we need to add some books. Well, you're just going to go ahead and click on get books, and then you can run through Know's search engine at know.com and add books to that particular courseware. There are videos online that show you how to acquire books from know.com, but I'm more interested in showing you the interface itself. So we're going to go ahead and jump back into the interface. And let's go back over to sample term, and I would like to show you some of the features of No. First off, we have this sample term here, and it has a few books in here, which is great for getting us familiar with this program. At the very top here, you'll notice that I have My Stuff. Now, when we switch terms, you'll notice that My Stuff carried over. What is My Stuff? Well, My Stuff is actually PDFs that I've opened up in No. So if you'd like to see what that looks like, you can bring in PDFs from perhaps your uh, email, or your cloud service, I'm just going to go ahead and bring one in through Dropbox. So if I were to click on Documents, I can open up any PDF here and it'll ask me where I would like to open this up. I would just select No. You'll notice that it does save it to No and you can name it whatever you'd like. So this is the PDF that I just brought in. We can go ahead and click on it. And then I can view my PDF here, and I can also use some of the features that we will be covering within this tutorial, like for instance, highlighting and annotating. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into Science Fusion. This is from HMH, or Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, and this is one of the free textbooks that comes with No, just to get you familiar with No's features. So first off, I want to point out that there is a lot of dynamic content on this page. The first thing we can do is highlight, and this is incredibly important for our students. So we just tap and hold, and then drag our highlighter across any field. From here, we get this little menu that says, or that gives us the option to change the color. So for instance, if it's important, I can go yellow, um, and so on. Uh, perhaps this particular section is for an assignment, so I can highlight that in green. Now if I'd like to, see this little button right here, this is actually a sticky note that I can then add information to and just type away. So let's say this is going to be important for me for the test on Friday, and I'll put a little exclamation point there. Now this little sticky note stays stored in the system in my journal, and we're going to talk about that here in just a moment. First, let's take a look at some of these concepts that are underlined. So for instance, if we wanted to know more about cells, you'll notice it has this little dotted underline here. All I have to do is click on cells. 
From here, I have some additional information that just helps to supplement the lesson. So I have a glossary definition for better understanding. I also have this little video that can play right inside of the no book. Double tapping outside of the video closes the video. Now that's incredibly important because we keep our students efficient by keeping them in the program. They never left the textbook. Okay, so let's look at some other things here. First off, we have um, some other uh, features here, like for instance, you'll notice this big red arrow says that there's a 3D ATP model. Well, if I select ATP, you'll notice I have not only my glossary, I also have a video and a 3D model. So if I click on that, there's my 3D model. Now I promise you that we were going to talk about some of the journal entries here. Well, I have a number of different ways to get to my journal. Now I hit back so I can get out of the program um, because most of the time you're going to access your journal right here from your bookshelf. So you'll notice I have course journals right there. So I can select it and all of my journal entries for each book on this bookshelf will be here. By selecting the book, I get all the journal entries for that book. So I want to show you the other way that we would access course journals and that's going to be in the book itself. So I'll just go ahead and click on the book and once the book opens up, click on any white space around here and you're going to notice some additional menu options. On the right hand side, I've got my journal. Let's go ahead and click on that. This represents all of the journal entries for this book. You'll notice that my green highlighted information is right here. I also have the sticky note that I created. But here's an additional feature that I know you're going to love. If you hit add note, you can add some additional text or even pictures or video. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. We selected take video and then we click on record. And you'll notice there's my hand on the other side. There we go. Very uh, informative video on that side. So the video is complete now and we hit save. Now I can add some additional text here just to call this video something and then hit save. So we just saved this video and perhaps this video is an experiment that I did in connection with this particular assignment. Um, this is going to help me better understand this lesson when I go to review it later. So those are the journal entries. If we want to go back to the book, we simply click book up here in the upper left hand corner and we're back in the book. So there's some other features here that I know teachers are going to love. Let's go ahead and click on the white space and reveal those additional menu options. In the upper right hand corner, you'll notice a little pad of paper. From here, I've got a pen and an eraser. If you tap the pen, you can select your pen type and your color and the width of your uh, pen stroke. And we can highlight information like for instance, this is due Friday. Now we don't have to worry about um, students being distracted by this particular information. Uh, we can color all over this and simply clicking right over there again removes all of that information we just created. Those are some of the overall features of No. That should be enough to get you started. There are some additional features for you to kind of uh, cruise through. Like for instance, they have a search engine here that searches for a term within the entire book. They also have a, um, a sharing feature here that you can experiment with. Now I want to call your attention to one more thing. Let's go ahead and go back to courses. From here you'll notice that I've got this No Start Here. Uh, document. Let's go ahead and click on that. And I would encourage you to explore this document because it has a lot of different features in here and it sets them up kind of like a periodic table and gives you some exposure to some of the other features of No. Now that should be enough to get you started. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and write to us. We love getting this feedback from our audience. Thank you very much.